Hey, what's up, everyone? It's TK here. TK already is with my Zom 100. Back at this other day, episode 4. Review and thoughts. So, this episode right here, uh, Kenjo and Akira, they're chilling on the roof. Kenjo is over there grilling up some foods. Akira, he's playing some video games. And as that's happening, uh, Kenjo, he just looking around, he sees the list. He said, like, hey, you're not nowhere close to 100. Can I have some stuff on here? He's like, this could be all of this. You know, you say me. If it wasn't for you, I would have been dead in this hotel. And, uh, so, yeah, I'm not, oh, yeah. Ken Joe, he had to uh, be a stand-up comic. Because, like I mentioned in my episode 3 review, because I read the mangas. So, I know stuff that happens in advance. So I know what's what. So, like I said, you did see a little bit more of it. He was naked a little bit earlier clowning around trying to get some laughs and stuff but uh, Kenjo he wants to be a comedic he wants to make people happy laugh all around the world things of that nature hold on a moment <laughs> nah, I ain't want no additional noise to get picked up that's why I had to pause it for a moment but so yeah um, like I said Kenjo is looking through his list he sees one well he sees some things on his list and he's like you aim it a little too high don't you think and he's like this one right here going on a date with a flight attendant or winding down with a flight attendant. He was talking about how Kira always had troubles going on dates with girls or getting girls in general, pretty much. And Kira's like, no, I could do it. I could, I could get one today. So they kind of make a deal, but it was like really nothing on the line. He was just like, I can do it. And uh, one of the things that was on the Kira's list was to get a widescreen TV. So they on their way. Uh, to go find a widescreen TV from one of the stores. On their way there, it's a big old crash scene that's already been in progress for a while. People already been zombified already. Seems like this is ha- has happened a while ago. Just still chaos going on there. And uh, we got another zombified trucker driving towards their way so Akira uh, ends up driving him and Kenjo into this underground area, in underground shopping area, I guess you would say. And they kind of get a little surrounded by zombies there. He was expecting zombies to be really under there. But uh, there's this one spot they had that they could go into, lift the little shed thing up, they enter it, and what do we got over here, y'all? We got three ladies, three sexy ladies, and uh, this one guy that's been panicked and frightened the whole time. Uh, one of the girls look like she's been drinking. The other one, the other two look like they've just been kind of a little bit calm. But Kenjo and Akira kind of uh, introduced themselves. Um, the mood's not so good at the moment because, you know, they're not, the girls and the guy, they're not seeing the world as Akira and Kenjo is. They're not so high spirit like our main cast. But, um, they start chatting a little bit, they eating a little bit, and, uh, I think, I think Kenjo asked them, like, what they do, like, what's they, how they, yeah, he asked how they know each other. So, the girls tell them that they just got back off a flight from LAX. And then, Akira and Kenjo look at each other, like you and you two mean your flight attendants like I said earlier on his list it's something to do with flight attendants the data flight attendant or to wind down with a flight attendant and they played my favorite soundtrack from the anime so far dun 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 let me stop now I ain't gonna try to sing along I'm not gonna try to sing a song but that's my favorite soundtrack from the song so far they did this little happy uh feeling moment thingy with the music playing which I enjoy seeing and um Akira's pretty much trying to trying to trying to pull one of the girls the girl name was uh, Yukari that's one he was trying to talk to the first thing he asked her though was did she have a boyfriend and like I said things is still not uh the the, the mood of the room they in the store by the way they in like supermarket store or oh, underground mall but Moo wasn't really there yet, 
So Akira is pretty much trying to uh, brighten the mood. He sees that Kenjo, he's having no problem chatting with one of the girls. And uh, Akira decides he's going to chug down some tequila. He is up in the bathroom throwing up a bit. Uh, Kenjo goes to another area in the place that had a bed with one of the girls that he was flirting with, getting to know better. And while his cure is throwing up, what, the girl that he was trying to talk to earlier came and rubbed his back, asked him to see okay. Um, they kind of had a little nice talk to talk with each other. As this is going on, uh, Kenjo, he's, he's getting in there, doing his thing. And one of the flight attendants, because it was three of them total, one of them was just the one that was always drunk. She was out in the area where everyone was chilling at before. It was just her and the guy that was so scared and freaked out. Didn't really talk. So she's wasted. She's drinking. We find out that he has a bite on his leg. So he's been like however many, however many minutes or hours before the flight attendants ran into him. He was already been before that. And uh, the affection kicked in. She's drunk. He's like, hey, don't get all handsy on me. Then when she finally, finally realizes when it's too late that he's already zombified and she can't really do nothing. Bodied. Um, Kenjo hears a scream. Him and the girl that he's with. Her name is Maki. They go down there, check on her. They see her standing up there. They walk a little closer. It looks like she's drinking still. Walk a little closer, see her in zombified, zombified form. She runs up, jumps on top of Maki, bites her freaking face. Or, it looks like she bit her face off with the animation. The animation is very good in this anime. But it looks like she bit her face off. Kind of how it looked like when she gobbled up wherever she gobbled. But anyways, there's just a little detail I noticed. In other certain parts I noticed in the anime, the animation is really, really good. Um, but yeah, that happened, so two of the flight attendants are now dead. Akira and Yukari don't know anything about this yet, because they're in a the whole different part of the story. But Kenjo knows that the guy is missing, so he's, I guess he ends up looking for the guy, or he's just cleaning up things there. And we're seeing Akira and Yukari kind of have a more heart-to-heart. Akira acts as, well, he explained his job to the girl, and he was talking about um, that job was never his dream job. He asked her what her dream job was, and she said, flight intended. He kind of asked her what was the reason for it. He said, like, really your dream job? He's like, that job, I thought it was a dream job, but it really wasn't. So Akira is pretty much wanting to find his dream job. That's kind of how this episode ends. He's thinking of what he wants his dream job to be. But before that happened, well, before I I, I kind of went right to the end of so, uh, they talk talking. The guy that was infected comes down, launches right on Yukari, bites her. There's nothing they can really do. Um, Yukari pretty much kind of finished up her story before she meets her complete end and she tells Akira pretty much why she decided to become a flight attendant and that it really was a dream job and she enjoyed it and uh yeah can we fast forward back um so Kenjo was getting the widescreen TV that he was originally going out into town for it. and uh they rolled back home uh Akira was thinking about his dream job and kind of thinking about Akira too, because he was crying and stuff too, but I kind of skip all the details because I am talking pretty god dang long. But overall, good episode. Like I said in all my other reviews, is right on par with the manga. Um, dang, I forgot what the episode was titled. I forgot the episode was titled, so I can't really tell y'all what's in store next because I forgot the title. But it's like chapter 5 of the manga. Um, but y'all are in for... Oh, I remember. The hero of the dead. Akira's about to be a superhero, y'all. 
But anyways, overall, good episode. Looking forward to the next episode. Uh, the actual live action is coming out like next week. So actually, you, you will see the Hero of the Dead stuff before. The, well, I'm, I'm not. First of all, I'm not watching the live action. No way. I'm not watching live action for something that I like, that I enjoy. If this is like an anime I don't care about, I'll watch live action. But this, I'm not watching it. But um, if you do watch live action, um, you think, I'm not sure how far it's going to go, but you're going to probably see, most likely you see the hero of the day episode uh, things feature in the movie. Because, Wes, well, maybe, no, I think you will. I think you might see like two different scenarios because it happened multiple times. Um, I'm trying to figure out what child that was. When it was this one thing that I saw on the I saw the trailer for the live action, and it was this one part that happened, which is really crazy and kind of creepy. But um, y'all just had to tune in and see. I'm talking way too long. But anyways, good episode. Can't wait to see more of my favorite manga in the anime formation. Animation, animation form. Um. I'll probably do another video later on, just talking about other manga style like and that could make a good anime, or that would be a good anime. But anyways, I'm TK, TK RDS. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Peace. Get my own thing in work. Here we go.